So, sa number 3, a 3-phase, 1,500 watts, unity power factor, heating unit, and a 5-horsepower induction motor with a full load efficiency of 80% and a power factor of 0.85 are served from the same 3-phase, 3-wire, 208-volt system. Find the magnitude of the line current for rated output from the 5-horsepower motor. For problem number 3, bali meron tayong dalawang 3-phase load connected in parallel. Nirepresent ko na lang siya in a single line diagram. So, meron tayong line voltage na 208 volt system. Tapos, yung isang load natin is heater na mayroong 1,500 watts unity power factor. Yung isa naman is 5 horsepower induction motor na mayroong efficiency of 80% tapos power factor na 0.85. Ang tinatanong ngayon, ano da yung magnitude ng line current? So, i-assume natin na total line current yun na kung saan yung rated down ng motor is 5 horsepower. So, ibig sabihin na abot niya itong 5 horsepower na output. Bali, for this, i-assume natin na why yung system natin. Bali, for the total line current, since parallel yan, di ba, ipag-aadla natin. So, yung ILT is equals to ILH plus ILM. So, yung line current na heater at na motor. Kailangan nga lang natin gawin dito is complex computation kasi nakaka-apekto yung power factor ng motor at yung power factor ng heater. Para doon sa formula ng line current natin, susundan lang natin yung normal na computation sa 3 phase. So, bali T over square root of 3 PL times yung power factor. Kasi di ba yung power sa 3 phase is square root of 3 PL IL times power factor. So, yan yung papasunod rin natin sa heater at sa motor. So, himay-himayin natin. Bali, para sa heater, kung gagawin natin complex pala to, kailangan natin ng par angle inverse cosine ng power factor. Kasi di ba yung theta is inverse cosine ng power factor. Kasi di ba yung power factor is cosine theta. So, para sa line current ng heater, 1,500 watts all over square root of 3. So, yung line voltage natin na 208 volts. Power factor natin na 1. Since, di ba unity yung power factor, bali yung angle nyan is 0. Kasi, di ba yung inverse cosine ng 1 is 0. So, hindi na natin siya lalagyan ng bar angle dito. Kasi, zero lang yun. At alam naman natin, di ba, kapag heating unit, lala ko resistive type, di ba, yung phase difference ng voltage and current is zero. So, malabang, di ba, zero talaga yung angle niya. At yung line current na ang heater natin is 4.163 ampere. So, kung gusto mo lagyan ng bar, di lagyan mo ng bar zero ampere. Ayan, since meron na tayong line current ng heater, lipat naman tayo sa motor. So, pagdating sa motor, mas matrabaho ng onte. Kasi yung P na kailangan natin gamitin is P dapat ng electrical. So, tandaan, di ba, yung electric motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. So, kung kailangan natin yung electrical power, power input siya. At yung power input natin is power output over percent efficiency. Tandaan, di ba, sa electric motor, ang output mechanical, ang input is electrical. So, kung gagamitin mo to, yung power na nandito must be in electrical power. So, kung hahanapin na natin yung line current ng motor, equal siya sa 5 horsepower. Yung 5 horsepower na yan, i-convert natin yan into watts. So, times 746 watts per horsepower. So, cancel yung horsepower. Divided by yung efficiency. So, yung efficiency niya is 80%. So, 0.8. Tapos, square root of 3. Yung VL natin, which is 208 volts. And then, yung power factor na 0.85. Pagdating naman sa angle, pwede natin i-salpak dito. Lagi ko sa baba. Par angle, Tandaan, since motor yan, laging yung angle nyan. So, lalagyan natin ng negative. So, negative, inverse cosine, 0.85. At yung magiging sagot natin dyan is 15.225 par negative 31.788 degrees ampere. Pakitandaan nga pala, ito pala yung general formula. So, lalagyan mo na lang ng negative kung motor kasi laging yung power factor nun. At positive naman kung leading. Masyado na-excite ka din na nalagyan ko siya ng negative. Pero tandaan, ito yung pinaka-base formula. Kung gagawin mo siyang complex form, lalagyan mo na nga lang ng negative kung laging yung load. At kung positive naman, 
kung DD. So ayan, di ba? Meron na tayong dalawang time current natin. Ang gagawin na lang natin is pagsasamahin sila. So, bali lalabas yung ILT natin is equals to 4.163 ampere plus 15.225 bar negative 31.788 degrees ampere. At magkakaroon tayo ng total line current 18.892 bar negative 25.121 degrees ampere. At ayan yung sagot natin para sa problem number 3. Number 4, 3 identical impedances of 12 bar 30 degrees ohms in a delta connection and 3 identical impedances of 5 bar 45 degrees in a star connection are on the same 3 phase 3 wire 208 volt ABC system. Find the total power. Para sa problem number 4, meron tayong dalawa naka parallel, isang delta at isang Y. Yung line voltage natin is 208 volts. Ang pinapatanong is yung total power. Bali ganito yung magiging atake ko dyan. Paano natin malalaman yung total power? So, aalam muna tayo ng total power ng isang pase. Tapos, after nun, imumultiply na lang natin by 3 since balance naman yung mga load. Magkakaroon tayo ng problema kasi meron tayo nakaparallel na delta at y. At ginawa ko, nirepresent ko siya as single line. ba kung natatandaan niyo sinabi ko, yung single line diagram is valid lang for y system. Kaya, ang gagawin natin, itong delta na to is i-convert natin into y. Mangyayari, Dalawa na yung Y system natin Kaya lagyan natin ng subscript Ito yung pangalawang Y At ito yung magiging unang Y natin ba? So kung balance yung load So yung ZY is equals to Z delta over 3 Bali convert na natin ngayon ito So bali 12 bar 30 degrees ohms All over 3 Bali yung ZY sa buwan natin Since unang branch siya Magiging 4 bar 30 degrees ohms At magkakaroon na tayo ng bagong circuit natin So drawing lang natin dito. So, ito, 4 bar 30 na siya. At ito naman is 5 bar 45 degrees ohms. E di ba single line diagram? Nagre-represent lang tayo ng isang single phase. Bali, lumalabas, meron tayong dalawa impedance ngayon in parallel. So, pwede na natin kunin yung total impedance. So, yung ZT natin, bali Z1 times Z2 all over Z1 plus Z2. Di ba yung sa resistor lang, di ba? Kung meron kang dalawang resistors in parallel, yung RT mo is equals to R1 times R2 all over R1 plus R2. Ganun lang rin yung gagawin natin dito. Nangyari nga lang, complex numbers na sila. So, yung 4 bar 30 degrees multiplied by 5 bar 45 degrees all over 4 bar 30 degrees plus 5 bar 45 degrees. So, yung magiging total impedance natin is 2.241 bar 36.661 degrees ohms. At ayan, since meron na tayong total impedance, pwede na natin masolve yung total power. Ang katake ko ang gagawin dyan is susolve ko muna yung apparent power per phase. Kung naka-polar form siya or naka-complex form, gagawin ko siya rectangular form. Kasi kung rectangular form siya, ba makikita ko yung P at Q. So, wasa malaman ko yung real part, yun na yung P natin. So, nakuha na natin yung power per phase. At after nun, i-multiply na lang natin sa 3. At yung S na yan, diba? Yung S per phase na yan, pwede natin sabihin B phase squared over Z total ng phase. Once na masolve natin yan, hindi nakuha na natin apparent power per phase ng buong system. After nun, i-multiply na lang natin by 3. So, yung apparent power per phase is equals to 208 volts over square root of 3. Squared all over 2.241 bar 36.661 degrees ohms. At yung magiging apparent power power natin dyan in rectangular form is 5,161.794 minus J 3,842.151 Bali sa apparent power natin, ito yung lumalabas na total true power ng isang pase at ito naman yung total reactive power ng isang pase. Pero ang kailangan natin makuha is yung full total power in 3 phase. So yung total power natin is 3 times yung total power na single phase. Bali, 3 times 5,161.794. What's na lang yung kukunin natin dito? Since tandaan, kapag pinatanong ka ng power at wala siyang binanggit kung anong uri ng power yun, true power yung kinapasob sa iyo. At yung magiging total power natin na in watts is 
0.384 watts. At ayun yung sagot natin para sa problem number 4. And for our next topic on electrical circuits to playlist, unbalanced three-phase AC circuit. Bali, hindi ko muna tatapusin yung mga problems sa AC power. Babalikan na lang natin siya once na matapos na natin yung topic sa unbalanced.